the government should be charging uh, Governor Abbott with um, human trafficking because this is considered human trafficking. If anybody else were to do it, they would be charged with trafficking humans by transporting undocument undocumented migrants from one place to the next. Governor Abbott announcing he's flying these migrants to Chicago. What do we know about this charter flight? Sure. So what we know is Tuesday evening, a flight from El Paso was chartered and it landed at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. And on that flight were approximately 100 migrants. Um, it arrived without warning. Um, there was reports from city officials that there were two individuals on that flight that 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 flew with the migrants who fled the scene in an Uber. Um, as well, they fled the scene after transporting the migrants because they knew they were doing something wrong. As soon as they landed, um, and later Governor Abbott claimed responsibility for the flight, and it certainly is an escalation from his busing. And um, he did say that he was running into some... I wonder how much taxpayer money it costs to have these migrants chartered out impasses with the busing with Chicago because Chicago started impounding these buses that were coming in and dropping off migrants. So he said he started flying them and he's not going to stop anytime soon. Something about the Uber part of it makes it feel a little bit more gimmicky despite the seriousness of this issue. Talk to me about the reaction from local officials, from state lawmakers. Yeah, it's really sketchy for the people to flee the scene. You've got two Democratic senators there in Illinois. I wonder how actions like this will affect them when it comes to eventually voting on some kind of order deal. Well, certainly um, Democrats have been calling on Abbott to, to start coordinating with them. What they say is that they welcome migrants, but what's the, what's causing the issues is the lack of coordination, the dropping off of migrants in the middle of the night in the cold, we're now facing some some pretty cold temperatures in Chicago um, at the Willis Tower unannounced. And so there's been a practical. They're doing it so that the migrants have the worst time possible, probably hopefully looking to have some die from the cold. Clash on the ground of just where to house these migrants. And there's been a political clash. We've had the city aldermen clashing with 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 the mayor. We have the mayor's office clashing with the governor's office on funding, where to put these. We've had the governor's office calling on Biden to do more, um, to do more at the border, but also to do more so that to steer Governor Abbott and not give him so much control over where all these migrants 